guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got some goodies for the Dyna today. Um, I've always wanted some MX style pegs, but didn't want to pay the ridiculous price, I think, for the bigger name brands. So got to looking around and there's a bunch of companies that offer uh, a cheaper alternative, very similar in style, very similar in, in design and, and makeup and all that good stuff. So. Did some searching on Amazon and actually found some for pretty cheap, um, $42 and some change for two. So I went ahead and got four. Uh, that way I'm not stuck in the back and up front. The Burley brand little sporty pegs that I have on there now are uh, really good for ground clearance and all that kind of stuff, but they get kind of slippery sometimes, I should say, and they're, and they're really short, knobby style. Uh, almost like a sport bike peg. So um, let's check out the pegs we got. So these are the pegs. And as you can tell, they look very similar to some of the bigger name brands. They're actually uh, clearance too for ground clearance. These little knob things, the spikes are replaceable. Uh, they come with two bags one per set so and they're actually adjustable you can uh, move them around to orientate them so they're level and it's always a good idea to put uh, Loctite on these hopefully they won't move around there's actually a little couple little balls in there I don't know if you can see it but that way it rides in these little grooves so that way it, it helps it stay solidly fit when once the bolts down so what you need for these bolts to get those out is a six mil allen uh, this is the only one I could get to fit in there I couldn't get a, a normal one a normal socket to fit in there so let's go check out what we need to do on the bike to get these things installed so yeah these are the pegs that were on there and I love them and everything it's just they're a little slippery uh, up here since there's nothing it's just pure metal that your foot's on so uh, what we have to do is my particular setup I'm pretty sure all Donna's are like this but there's a nut and bolt and it's a T45 Torx on one side and a 14 mil 916 on the other side and very similar to the back I'm not sure if that's stock that that bolt or not but yeah let's get these off of here and let's get the new ones installed That's it guys, we got these bad boys installed. Nice and easy job to do. Uh, just get your bolt out of there, put your little washer spring back in uh, each side and tighten everything down. And we'll do a review video on these coming soon. Hopefully I get a moto vlog out. Uh, do one this weekend and we'll get it out next week possibly. So. Take it easy guys, as always, like, subscribe, and comment, let me know what you think. Take it easy.